Welcome to the Alex Salmon Show, where we examine the consequences of COP26 in Glasgow. Was the much-delayed and much-heralded summit a success or failure? And is our planet saved or doomed? And do these times of crisis stimulate great art? We talk to two young artists, Natalia Katchuk and Sarah Klass, whose work has been inspired by the climate emergency. We realise that they would resonate as the classic assertion that times of crisis produce great art. This certainly seems to hold true for climate change, as a deepening crisis has spawned a whole generation of films, documentaries and novels. But how are the music and visual arts helping us to understand the crisis? Alex speaks to two young artists whose work is centred on the environmental emergency. First, Natalia Kapchuk is a London-based artist and environmentalist who uses art to deliver a powerful message about climate change and plastic pollution. While Triple Emmy Award and Classical Brit nominee composer Sarah Klass premiered her music at COP26. Natalia Kapchuk, uh, welcome to the Alex Salmon Show. Hi, Alex. Great to see you and beautiful Christmas tree on the background. <laughs> no, thank you, Natalia. Uh, your, your exhibition, the, the Lost Planet, I mean, does that indicate that the environment is a huge inspiration for your art? Absolutely. I had an amazing show in London in October and um, uh, it's about the environment, about sustainability, about our beautiful planet. And environment has always been an important topic for me. I've been blessed to be traveling around the world to see the most beautiful and unique part of the world, but the, at the same time, the most destroyed and polluted by humans. And in 2019, I was traveling in Mediterranean and I was shocked with the amount of plastic I collected at the beaches and the previously beautiful and deserted beaches. And this inspired me to, to create few artworks related to plastic pollution. And the more I traveled, the more devastation I could see, like wildfires, uh, melting glaciers, oil spills. And this was quite shocking to me. And the, the series of my artworks grew and grew to 34 pieces. So each one is about a different part of the world to show the beauty of our flora and fauna, our ecosystems, and at the same time to draw awareness to the planet's ply. And uh, each artwork has a story behind it. But as part of your uh, exhibition in London, you you hosted the uh, uh, the talk, the discussion. Is this the planet Earth's dying century? So you actually had a almost environmental, almost a political discussion as part of your exhibition in visual art. That's an interesting combination. Yes, absolutely. Um, basically, I wanted to maximize the impact of my message on climate, especially because art is such a powerful tool to, to express hard-held views and emotions. And I organized that panel discussion press breakfast where I invited uh, key media and uh, representatives from uh, Plastic Ocean, Earthwatch, Royal Geographic Society, MP, Barry Gardiner. Uh, the panel was hosted by a journalist and BBC presenter, Samantha Siemens. And the topic was broad enough to discuss many issues that the planet is facing at the moment. And um, also, it was held at the, on the eve of COP26, which I think was, was a perfect timing. And Natalia, your exhibition was also illustrated on the Oxford Street 161 to 167 building. I mean, what's it like as a, a visual artist to, to look at your, uh, your artwork being displayed and as tens of thousands of people go by in one of the, the busiest thoroughfares of, uh, of London? It was really, truly unique experience. And I even hosted a small party with my friends. We opened a few bottles of champagne and drinking and people passing by and enjoying the my art. So um, I made it, I created it uh, during the first lockdown. Uh, I was actually pregnant and um, it was a very uncertain time in, and I didn't, it was lots of, uh, mixed feelings about our planet, the future, what are we living for our future generations. And I decided to create this video installation uh, as actually based uh, on Bible chapters from the formation of life on earth to the story of Adam and Eve and uh, followed by 
money and power uh, oriented human behavior, which uh, eventually leads to six mass ex extinction on Earth. It's a pretty dramatic video, but um, very impactful. My idea was to make uh, the viewers think about uh, um, the future of our planet and to make some changes in their daily life. Well, next time you hold one of these parties, I'll expect a, a, an invite. But the, the medium for your, your work, I mean, you use natural products, uh, wood bark and stone. Uh, how does that translate into the, uh, into the electronic presentation? Um, yeah, actually, I use mixed media. So I use some natural materials and as well as some industrial ones. From natural, for example, sand, fermented moss, um, volcanic stones, which I collect, like from Stromboli volcano, tree bark from Siberia, which I personally uh, collect, or industrial ones, to sh which shows the interconnection of everything in the world, and that we humans we have to be thoughtful while using uh, both natural and main-made resources. I know you're in Dubai for Expo. President. What's coming up after that? What's coming up next for Natalia Kapchuk? Yes, I'm here and it's Expo. It's an amazing time. I'm bringing a few artworks uh, at Antigua and Barbuda Pavilion. They were very excited when they saw my artworks dedicated for plastic pollution because they are pioneers in marine protection and they uh, said no to using plastic bags and single-use plastic. And I'm bringing a few artworks dedicated to, uh, to this uh, issue, global issue, plastic pollution. Uh, so now at the moment I'm staying here, the expo is still March. So the next step is the exhibition in South Korea in the, one of the museums. And um, as for my video installation, it's traveling around the world. Uh, it will be showcased in France, in Trophy de Acoust and Chateau de Crimon and South of France uh, coming fall. <laughs> Natalia Kapchuk, visual artist extraordinaire. Thank you so much for joining me on the Alex Salmon Show. Thank you, Alex. It was great chatting to you. But now from Alex, myself and all at the show, it's goodbye, stay safe, and we hope to see you all again next week. <laughs>